it's a pleasure to be here and thank you very much for uh, organizing that hackathon. Uh, anyway, I'm here to talk about Unlock. Um, Unlock protocol is a protocol for memberships. It's a way to enable creators of all kinds on the web to kind of monetize on their own term by selling basically access to their work, uh, kind of like paywall or features in application or access to their communities can monetize, for example, Discord channels. I know a lot of people use Discord. We do use Discord as well. Uh, you can monetize tickets to conferences. You can even monetize video streams by just saying, hey, people can only unlock or can only access this video stream if they unlock it. Uh, and we'll see in a couple of minutes what that means. The basic example that I'm gonna show is basically uh, trying to unlock a website. Uh, so I'm on this website, uh, it's at zplit.online. And it's actually a, a musician uh, was, I think in Mexico, uh, was using uh, Unlock to monetize his music. And you can see here that he has a pretty basic HTML5 player, but uh, turns out you can only play 30 seconds of his music. And I'm gonna try to kind of mirror the sound. I don't know if that's, uh, that's, gonna, that's gonna be audible, but basically since I'm not a member yet, I can only play about 30 seconds of, of his music here. Uh, what's interesting here is obviously that he's added a little button to Unlock uh, the rest of the music here. And so I'm going to click that button and then Locker uh, is going to show up a little pop-up. He's charging about $1 uh, using XDAI. And XDAI is, uh, I think Makoto mentioned that earlier, it's a sidechain to Ethereum. Uh, so that is compatible with the Ethereum ecosystem. And you can you'll see that I'm using my, my crypto wallet uh, MetaMask here, uh, just from I mean, the previous demo. Uh, and I'm just going to select that one saying, hey, I want to do this. Um, here, I'm going to actually show you the example, not with credit card, even though this is a feature that we have, but using my crypto wallet. So I'm going to connect my crypto wallet. I'm going to select my in-browser wallet. We also support Wallet Connect, which I think somebody mentioned earlier. Uh, which is a mechanism for people to use uh, a mobile device uh, to uh, connect their wallet. Um, and here I'm going to just uh, check out with uh, my, my wallet. So MetaMask is going to pop up, hopefully, yes, MetaMask is popping up, saying, hey, do you want to pay uh, about $1? I'm going to say yes, $1 and 0.0085 cents worth of gas, which is the, um, the transaction fees that you pay on the Ethereum chain. I'm going to click confirm here. And boom, immediately you see that I'm, the page has been unlocked. I can now enjoy my membership. I'm going to just close that. And you see now that there's this little uh, gimmicky application that basically the, the CD, uh, and for the youngest people, that's actually how we used to listen to music in the 90s. Uh, the CD kind of starts to rotate. Uh, and more importantly, I can now play up to four minutes uh, of the music. And so uh, again, uh, clicking play here. Again, an HTML5 player. Um, and it's all, uh, it's all available here for me to listen to. Uh, cool. So, so that was the unlock demo. What, what I didn't tell you yet, uh, which I think is a buzzword these days, is the word NFT. In practice, the membership that I've unlocked here is an NFT. Technically, I've purchased an NFT from that uh, Miguel is his name, a musician, uh, and and I'm going to show you that this NFT is now in my wallet. So at Unlock, we also built what we call uh, the keychain, which is and again this is bigger here because I'm sharing my screen. Normally, it doesn't look as big. Uh, it's a little. Uh, website, a web app that basically reads from the chain to assess uh, what are the things that are in my wallet. So you see that I've got a bunch of membership, uh, memberships, sorry. And one of them hopefully is here. Yep, that's the one here. It's called void2.mp3. That's how we call this membership. Uh, and it's valid for 23 hours, 59 minutes uh, and some seconds because I just bought it. Uh, and that is an NFT. That's the NFT number four on is smart contract. What's interesting about the NFT obviously is that I can transfer that to somebody else. Uh, I could maybe lend it to somebody else as well. Uh, and if I did this, I would not be able to listen to the music anymore because I wouldn't have the membership in my wallet anymore. Uh, but the person to whom I would have trans transferred it would be able to listen to the music. So I hope that makes sense. This is a very high level demo of, of what Unlock allows you to do. People have used Unlock um, uh, to kind of provide access to some private channels on, on Discord, as I said earlier. Uh, we have a very exciting plugin that's coming very soon uh, around Shopify that allows people to unlock I mean, basically discounts and, you know, free shipping. The most, I, I always joke, but I think it's the case, the, the biggest membership of all in the US is Amazon Prime. Uh, and so you can build Amazon Prime membership on top of an open protocol called Unlock, which is pretty exciting. Uh, another thing that people have done uh, about a year and a half ago, Forbes.com, which is a pretty big website, you might have heard of it, uh, used Unlock to uh, offer an ad-free experience. So if you had their NFT in your wallet, you would see no ads on the uh, on the Forbes.com website, which is pretty exciting. As I said, people are doing kind of uh, unlocking of videos, of blog posts, of forums. I mean, you name it, basically. There's a, an endless suite of, of things. One thing that I'm very excited about is the idea of using Unlock as a way to do software licenses. Uh, we talked about pinning services earlier. Uh, I think one cool approach would be say, hey, the pinning service uh, can charge with credit card. Uh, and by the way, we actually have a way to charge with credit card as well. Um, maybe I'll, I'll show that in, in, in a later demo another day. 
Um, but basically that pinning service could say, hey, you know what, we'll allow people um, to pin data on, their, on our server only if they have the NFT in our wallet. And what this unlocks, uh, pun intended, uh, is the ability to work with, for example, DAOs uh, in the Ethereum space. But I think beyond that, at this point, uh, people start to realize that one of the core innovation of crypto networks is the idea of these DAOs, this decentralized autonomous organization. The challenge with these is like, even though they have money, a lot of money these days, uh, they actually don't have an easy way to spend it because a lot of the SaaS services that we all use and love online uh, basically require credit cards. And these communities obviously don't have a credit card account. They have a multi-sig wallet. Uh, they have ways to pay with cryptocurrencies, but all of these SaaS services that just require credit card basically are, are leaving them out. So one idea that I think would be really interesting for the hackathon would be to build kind of a way to pin data. Uh, and Mo's demo earlier was kind of really cool uh, to pin data uh, in a way that doesn't require me to pay with a credit card, but allow me to basically prove that I have an NFT in my wallet. And in that situation, the data gets pinned. So I think that's a pretty cool um, example of thing that can be built. Uh, maybe the next step, I'm going to show you how to actually deploy uh, your lock, your own membership. So again, we have a, a little app, and again, it's bigger, uh, called the dashboard, where people can, can do that. I'm going to switch to a, a test network. So on Ethereum, there's uh, several test network. I'm going to use uh, Rinkeby, which is uh, one of the most popular ones. Um, and I'm going to authenticate with my wallet here. And you'll see that uh, it's basically going to load a bunch of my, uh, a bunch of my different locks. Uh, and I've got a, a lock that was deployed on the, on the 6th, which was two days ago. A block, uh, a lock for uh, my friend Jess, uh, block on June 28th. So all of these are memberships and I'm gonna create one now uh, and you'll see that basically I need to put a name. So let's do um, let's do uh, a membership for brother 3000. I think that's a, that's a cool name. Uh, it's gonna be valid, you know what, let's do, uh, let's do 60 days. So it's valid for the duration of the whole uh, hackathon. And we're gonna limit the number of members to say, 500, which would be the number of maximum participants that we get. And this time we'll say it's, you know what, we'll say it's free. So there's no need to charge for that uh, because we don't necessarily want to uh, make money out of this, but we just want to have a, a way to identify our members and maybe put that on, on the Discord server or something like this. I'm going to hit submit here. Uh, my crypto wallet is going to pop up and same, it's MetaMask uh, here. So it's going to pop up, say, hey, do you want to pay that much in gas? And just say yes. Uh, and um, this lock is now going to be deployed. What's now really interesting about this is like it has, for example, a, a little image that I'm going to customize here. Uh, again, it looks a bit bigger because I wanted to make sure that everybody can see. Normal is not as big, but I'm going to upload a file. And obviously, uh, you pre guessed it. I'm going to use uh, the logo of the browser 2000 uh, hackathon. And so I'm, I'm, I did a very cheap uh, uh, screen capture earlier. Uh, and I'm going to have to make it a bit smaller because I can't even see the submit button, but I'm going to save this. Um, What's interesting here is like we're using MetaMask to sign a transaction to make sure, another transaction, sorry, sign uh, an API call to make sure that I actually own uh, that lock. So I'm setting up the image that's going to be used on all of the NFTs. I'm going to sign here uh, and boom, you can see now that the, uh, the, the lock is, image has been replaced. And what's really cool now is I can, I'm actually, we have a, a little demo phase. Actually, let me show you something else. Uh, we have this integration pane that allows you to see what are the multiple ways the lock can be integrated? So we have a WordPress plugin, which would mean that if we want to publish content on WordPress sites, we could easily add this and only the members of Browser 3000 uh, could be able to attend this. I mentioned Discord, we have um, a Cloudflare. I know the Cloudflare team is here. Uh, we have a Cloudflare worker that we uh, could use to, um, to allow people to, uh, you know, um, restrict access to their websites only to the people that are NFT in their wallet. Um, actually, uh, I think now Cloudflare has apps, so it would be cool to see if somebody would be interested in hacking on this. We have uh, an integration with Webflow, which is this uh, no-code kind of uh, you know site builder, um, pretty cool. Integration with Discourse, which is the forum software. Uh, and really, we have a lot more coming. And if you are interested in building integration, you should definitely reach out to us. We also have a few tutorials to build kind of custom experiences. So we have a way to kind of remove ads on the website uh, if somebody has uh, the membership in their wallet. We have a way to sell tickets to a conference. Uh, and so maybe, maybe that's something that you want to use here. We have a way to get donations on GitHub. Actually, let me show you this. This is pretty cool. Uh, all of Unlock is open source, um, everything um, from, I mean, the smart contract, obviously, to the front end code. And one thing that we have, which is pretty cool, is like we have a, a donation button here uh, that actually uses Unlock. So I'm, I'm not going to show you this, but what we have here at the bottom is a way to show all of the uh, icons of all of the people that support Unlock. So if somebody built Sorry, if somebody purchased an Unlock membership right now, and it's actually free, so that would be easy, uh, their icon would be added to that list uh, in real time, which I think is pretty cool because this is an SVG image that is uh, dynamically generated um, as the page loads, so it's, it's pretty cool. Um, let's go back to the dashboard here. 
we can also create a sub stack like experience like a newsletter uh, and that's something that we provide obviously we have a uh, pretty extensive documentation uh, and that's one of the links that uh, i'll post in the in, in the in the channel uh, where you can find all of the information about how to use unlock uh, creating a lock, which is the thing that I just did. You can enable credit card. I didn't, I didn't show you this, but it's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, and in that scenario, even people who don't have a crypto wallet can purchase your memberships uh, and have an NFT in their wallet. I invite you to look at the docs here. It's pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, you can customize the NFT, which is what I did with you, a list of custom, uh, plugins and integration. And then we have maybe for you uh, a list of kind of pretty extensive documentation around how to use Unlock. And so these are all of the components that, that we provide to the smart contracts, Unlock.js, which is a JavaScript library, uh, Subgraphs, which is a way to query uh, the locks data uh, in, in real time as well, which is pretty cool. A way to kind of set metadata um, on, 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 on NFTs. Um, the paywall application, which is kind of a more advanced JavaScript integration on, to, to our site. And Locksmith, which is kind of our backend server uh, where we can do a bunch of interesting things uh, like create user accounts and, and charge for credit cards and things like this. Uh, going back to the dashboard now, uh, I'm going to finish my, my, my very rough demo. Uh, I'm going to click on this fake, uh, basically, paywall site, which is going to use the uh, the membership uh, that we just deployed uh, a couple of minutes ago. I'm going to click join us. Uh, and obviously, same as before on the, on the musician's website, I'm being prompted to... Uh, Purchase a membership. It is free. I'm going to just uh, connect here, connect my crypto wallet. And you see here, obviously, I've not enabled credit card. Connect my crypto wallet uh, in browser wallet, same as, as earlier. Uh, this time, I only have the option to pay with my wallet. Um, and I'm going to do that right away. Uh, and what's uh, interesting, you see that now the rest of the content is immediately visible. Uh, and by the time, so what we do, I mean, one thing that you might wonder is like, how come this is immediately unlocked? Uh, we do what we call optimistic unlocking, where we look at the transaction itself and assess how likely it is to go through. Uh, we don't require users to wait for this because sometimes block time can be slow. Uh, but here it's been mine. And you can see here on Etherscan, which is a block explorer, Actually, this kind of slower than MetaMask to identify that it's been mine. Uh, you see that I actually have now uh, minted an ERC721 NFT, the token ID number one. Obviously, that's mine. Uh, and it's called uh, Browser 3000 here. Uh, and uh, maybe I'll do something even crazier. I don't know if it's going to work, but like you probably know of tests, uh, of, sorry, of OpenSea. Uh, and so we have this thing on OpenSea where, uh -huh, I'm not sure it's going to work, but that's right. Uh, and where you can actually view NFTs. Yeah, they work. Pretty cool. Uh, so it's going to load the data. Oh, it didn't load the, the image that I just uh, said. So I'm not sure why. Let's refresh it, maybe. But that's the NFT that I just bought. It's now on OpenSea, and I can transfer it to somebody else. I can put it up for sale. I wouldn't do that because it's free. Uh, but you know, if I had a paid one, uh, I could definitely uh, charge for this. Uh, so yeah, basically documentation, I invite you to kind of check that out. Uh, our website, uh, which is here. Oh, actually prices. Uh, we definitely are excited about you building on top of Unlock. Uh, so we've added a couple of prices. You can get some of our governance token. Um, and basically these are tokens that uh, allow you to vote on the upgrades of the protocol, on how it's going to you know, be governed in the future. Um, so we definitely invite you to uh, win this because I think it's actually a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool um, prize. We also have stickers. And maybe by the time this is over, we'll have uh, hoodies and t-shirts. Uh, so please uh, come build amazing things. Uh, join us on our Discord. And by the way, you're going to have to unlock it, uh, which is pretty cool. You're going to use unlock for this. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Uh, and please do reach out to uh, any of us. I think that's pretty much it for now. Um, again, pretty excited to uh, see what you all can build. Um, and if you're looking for ideas, please uh, come check with us on Discord. We have a ton of stuff that we'd love people to build uh, and we'd love to help you do that.